What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ben with Mechanized Cleaning Solutions. I got something pretty special here for you. Previewing a new $100,000 cleaning system. I'm almost done building. I want to give you guys a look at uh, what this thing is here. It's just about uh, coming up on the finish line here. Been building it for the last two months. Started with the trailer from scratch. And uh, that's going to be a whole separate set of videos. Uh, I'm actually going to kind of detail the building of this thing, but this is a preview. Let's have a look. There she blows. It's on a six by 16 foot trailer. It's got a mighty, um, you guys might've seen the unboxing on this video, the unboxing of the HDS three double odd eight. That's this hot water skid here. That's a uh, 3000 PSI, eight gallons per minute or nine, depending on what pulley you put on the pump. And, uh, yeah, this pressure washer, water tank. Got a, uh, gonna incorporate a soft wash system on this thing. Uh, a little Comet P40. The little bleach manifold, you know, uh, mixing manifold will be somewhere in this area. We got surface cleaner mounts on the sides here. Little 50 gallon tank is active as a buffer water tank. We got a 520 gallon lightweight aluminum vacuum recovery tank powered by a Fury 2400 CVU. Um, this 2400 CVU, a little bit different than the ones we normally run. That is a, a five inch blower that moves about 330 CFM. This, uh, and you know, there's a few differences here. This is a 600 CFM tri-lobe blower. And what's cool about this thing is that it moves a little less than, a little, uh, almost twice the air, maybe not quite twice, but uh, this one doesn't have greasable bearings on the back it's wet on both ends so you have a you got a blower case and then you got a wet gear end but then the bearing end where the pulley and all that is is also wet so no more greasing bearings and having grease drip down just the oil bath a little less maintenance three inch intake and exhaust and years ago i actually called steel legal and told them about this muffler trick you guys saw the mufflers on the other trailers so they went ahead and started incorporating these little magna fluid diesel mufflers on their blower. This one's quite a bit smaller, but I think it's going to quiet it down pretty good. If not, I'll just stick another one on there. And then um, on the trailer here, I fabbed up some surface cleaner mounts. Now, when I made these mounts, the vacuum tank wasn't on there, and I'm a dumbass. And now the locking latches, you can put a padlock on these things. Won't close, so I'm going to have to work that out. Put a double hinge here so it can kind of get by the tank. But um, that's just a dumb design mistake I just discovered today. So I've been working on the trailer, just got it painted maybe last weekend or something like that, and uh, just putting it together now, putting everything on here, and that's what I found, that the latches don't close. There'll be a vacuum hose reel here. This is the A-frame for the vacuum hose reel, and there'll be some pressure hose reels, water hose reel, both sides. So each, this will be powered by a two-man system, and uh, there'll be a vacuum hose coming off each side of this tank, and also a hose reel for each side. So there could be a guy working on this side, the guy working on that side, and... This will be the, the new, uh, this is actually going to be the precursor to the models. You could, a prototype, you could say, something a little more polished, a little more finished than the, the old swill I used to build. But um, these are the ones, this will here will be the first model that we'll put out for sale. It'll be, it'll have the hot water pressure washing system and the vacuum system all on the trailer. So you can just buy the whole damn thing. So when I built this trailer, I couldn't find a trailer that I liked. It just wasn't working out. I was looking all over the place for a trailer and I just couldn't find one. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll build my own trailer. Never built a trailer. Uh, this thing's pretty cool. You guys will see all about this trailer because I documented the build of the trailer like in detail, but that, those videos are gonna come later. But this is a six by 16 with dual, or a correction, tandem 5,200 pound axles. And I put shocks on it. I thought this is probably the coolest part of this whole build. Was uh, this trailer has, a nitrogen gas shock suspension system. So that'll smooth out the ride, take a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, we are kind of like landscapers. We put a ton of miles on these trailers and you guys know about trailers. The little leaf spring shackle mounts, they get wallowed out and then they start doing weird shit and um, start having problems with your trailer suspensions. And uh, this should obviate some of that. This thing will ride a little bit more like a car. So, you know, I thought why not make it badass? So there you go, guys. That's a look for you. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Um, give you a little quick look at some of the fabrication work on the trailer here. 
There's the battery breakaway box, the wiring terminals to make it kind of easy to wire. There's a breakaway cable, breakaway switch. This is what the front of the construction looks like on the hitch. And so after I built this trailer, I'm trying to figure out how to get a VIN number and get it titled and registered in Washington State, knowing that there was some way to do that. Because I'd known that guys, you know, they build home-built trailers and then they go do something with the state patrol. So the state patrol has an inspection system, which is completely, hopelessly broken in Washington State. There's like three cops left in the whole state because our idiot fucking governor fired everybody because they didn't want to get the COVID vaccine. Because we're a typical liberal shithole and with crime everywhere. <laughs> so there was no way to get this thing registered. I tried to get an appointment the first day I tried to register it after I knew it was ready for inspection. And uh, that just wasn't gonna happen. No way that was gonna happen. It was like I hit the, the appointments open up every Tuesday at 11 a.m. I hit send at 11 a.m. and 30 seconds. And by 11.01, I was already double booked and denied. So I just realized at that point, it could be six weeks or six months or six years before I get an appointment with the state patrol to do what's called a VIN verification where they issue you, the DOT guys come and inspect everything and make sure it's to code. And if you're all good, then they pass your inspection and they give you a VIN number and issue a certificate of origin based on your receipts. And you take all that shit down, you apply for title and get it registered. That's not gonna happen. So there's a workaround. I am now a uh, vehicle manufacturer. Our company is licensed now to manufacture miscellaneous vehicles or equipment trailers is what we applied for. So we can build trailers, issue our own manufacturer's certificate of origin, which is a precursor to a title. And now we can generate our own VIN numbers. So we can crank these babies out. We're getting there. We're getting real close to being able to build these things for you guys. If anybody wants one, if you want one like this, it'll wind up being about a hundred thousand dollars. That's I think I'm into this 60 so far. So, you know, plus all the labor, but we're going to price them right around a hundred, maybe, I don't know, maybe 95,000, maybe 110,000. I got to go through and look at what these things cost, depending on what options you get, aluminum tank, steel tank, what kind of blower, how big engines, how much hoses, what kind of surface cleaners, do you want shocks on the suspension or not? You know, all that shit, but there'll be quite a bit of money, but each one of these babies, can do anywhere from half a million to a million bucks a year. So, spend $100,000, and even if you don't really know what you're doing and you only do maybe three or 400,000 your first year with one of these, you know, while you're still learning, still pretty good. Even when you have no idea what you're doing, you have a phenomenal return on your investment. So, that's the plan. Hope you guys like it. Been a lot of work bitten into this, about two months worth. And um, maybe not quite two months. It took me actually only like seven or eight days to build the trailer, but everything else took a long time. Plus we had to buy all the shit. So quite a bit of money, quite a bit of time, quite a bit of fabrication work. And I built my first trailer, which it turned out really good. I'm super happy with it. It'll be a beast capable of doing lots of work and making lots of money. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the new one.